Hello there! In this video we're going to play a little bit more with stable diffusion and specifically looking on in painting and how we can have it some fun with this. So we're going to work with image to image and right here is the image I'm going to play. This is me try to pretend I don't know anything, which is actually very close to the truth. So next what we want to do, we're going to use the actual RPG version 5 for this and we're going to type ninja. Because I'm not ninja, I don't know how to do this. Okay, and at this point, before render, let's go ahead and set properly height and width, and we're just expanding to be sure cover all image, and click generate. Okay. And of course, what we have right here, it is portraits of ninja, nothing to do with image what we have. To make the image affecting our render output, we need to reduce amount of the denoise strings. So let's go ahead and drop to the four and render at this point. Look, it looks somewhat similar pose what I have it, but definitely different face. And you know what, maybe I want to have a different clothes because it's look closer. To make same face, we need to use the painting for this. Of course, we can jump and use it some face swap on reactor, but I think if we using just in painting tool, for this purpose, it will work easy, faster. Okay, let's go ahead and click on in painting button here. It will take our image and all settings and transfer inside. Next, we have our brush selected and we're going to paint. I would recommend to paint just a little bit like outside, don't go to the edges. You can try to do this and it's worked sometimes very well. For my purposes, I'm just going to like around here. And rest can be in. Okay, because I mask what I needed and I want paint everywhere instead face, I need to go down and right here it says mask mode, I need to select in paint not masking. So it means render everything except my face. Let's go next. I want just add a little bit blur on the edge slightly better so it will blend more interesting for this image. And we left, let's leave it everything same and click on generate. Okay, it's look a little bit better, but I'm look like surgeon maybe freak out. Okay, let's go ahead and increase our denoise string back to 7.5. Run there and we'll generate now. That should provide a little bit better information, but you'll notice, of course, it's look very funny because we have face here and again, back to our portrait. To align with all the figures, we need to use it control net, which will help us to copy our pose. For this, if we scroll down and we have a control net options, so let's expand. By the way, if you don't see control net, you can install this from extensions. And I will have a video down below for you how to install control net on your stable diffusion. Okay, assuming you already installed it or you're watching this video, you can go back. Okay, let's go down to our control net. I want to go enable and we want to enable pixel perfect. It will take image of our currently and apply all settings here instead of us trying to figure out width and height. Next, what I want to do is using open pose. Open pose will take all the models and apply figures. If you're interested how open pose work, we can enable independent image, take the same image put it in our windows, click allowed preview and click on this icon which says run preprocessor. So this way we can kind of preview and see what is happening. Notice right here we have everything. So we have face, hands, every options available for us. Also let's go say click right there and says control net is more important. Okay, at this time let's go click generate. And as we generate it, you will notice right here, now we have the right pose and we have it funny things. Of course, our fingers look kind of, okay, I may deserve those fingers, but it's look a little bit more interesting in this case. So let's go ahead, experiment a little bit more with our settings. So we can increase a little bit higher on the noise string. It will create more flexibility in creation, but it's still keeping with our face as well. We can try to maybe trim down a little bit our face and we can do this if we're reducing even mask it will give it harder edge but kind of put it inside 
So let me show you what I mean by this. Okay, we'll go render very fast. And notice right here, we have a little bit more blend in on these edges, but be careful because it is leave it like harder edge, a little bit around this area. Oh, look, I have it right amount on fingers, at least this time. Okay, let's go down and see else what we can modify. Okay, padding, we can increase a little bit of the padding as well, but now we want to increase quality. So the this model specifically work very good with the sampling method DPM++ MCARA and sampling steps about 75. Okay, it will increase our render time, but I think it's worth it. So let's go ahead, click and try now. Okay, so here's our result. Of course, the hands look kind of funny. I think we can play a little bit more around this. You know what? Let me go switch back to Euler. It's a popular kind of very fast processing steps is good. I think we're kind of good. We could play a little bit more with expressions and processing with different control net, but I think this one is work very well. Okay. And let's just increase a couple more things. I think the blur mask still need to go back maybe to four. Padding 48 maybe a little bit more on a padding so it will have this blending around and we're back to our Euler and here as a result you know I still don't like it so let's try make this face and you know what I like my head as well so we'll go like this we'll use it there head and we'll just go round yeah let's go just take all head replacement we'll have it very interesting ninja at this time and of course i will pop up now blur because it's all head around and click generate yeah it's much better there's me dressed as ninja and ready to disappear well speak about disappearing thank you for watching and have a fun day bye